Currently, all major denominations teach that the Apostolic Fathers were successors to the Apostles, and they hold that their writings are important to follow. Men such as Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarp, and Clement of Rome, for example, are men believed to be faithful followers of the Apostles. They teach that, for example, Clement of Rome was a disciple of Paul and Peter, and also for another example, Ignatius of Antioch was a direct successor to the Apostle John. Other men followed, such as Clement, Tertullian, and Origen. These men are known as the anti nicene Fathers because they followed after the Apostolic Fathers. Yet when one compares the writings of the Apostolic and anti nicene Fathers to that of the New Testament writings, one sees a tremendous vast difference in value and in importance. The Bible teaches that the apostles, their last messages were that instead of successors, there were going to be many antichrists, those who would take the place of the apostles in the church falsely. For example, they would hold to the doctrine of Balaam, which is a dangerous doctrine within the church that would cause the people of God to commit fornication and to sacrifice to idols. The doctrine of Jezebel was also held in the first century, second century, and so forth by these false uh, apostles who would come into the church. And lastly, they would have the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which is a dangerous doctrine where they control the people and they control the church by having one bishop controlling everything. This was a doctrine that was contrary to the doctrine of the apostles of Jesus Christ. False doctrine has been introduced into the church of the Lord Jesus Christ in modern times. And we see it today with one big false doctrine, which is abusing or discrediting the doctrine of grace. Everything can go and one saved, always saved. Does your church teach to follow one supreme leader? Does your church teach to, that ministers should not get married? Does your church teach to a holy mother goddess? Does your church have idols or practices idolatry? Does your church teach that you cannot lose your salvation? Does your church teach that it is okay to sin sometimes? This is all Antichrist doctrine.